Hey, this is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. How are you doing today? Hey, we just got some uh, P600. It's a knife set. It's from Chef's Foundry, and um, they get sent, they got sent to us, and uh, uh, you know, to do a little test on, do a little review, to check them, uh, see how sharp they are and stuff. And so that's what the big chef knife looks like. And um, we're going to head off to the store today. We're going to get some things to slice up, some veggies and things. Come back, slice them for you. This is actually the knife that I used to shave my uh, half of my beard off uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact. So anyway, let's go to the store, get a few things, and come back and do a little slicing. All right, see you later. <laughs> well... Time to go to the uh, post office and drop off a bunch of packages eBay at sharpensbest.com. It's a good time of the year. It's Christmas. People are ordering. That's what we want. Take care. Let's head out. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, hey, we're off. Uh, the spread, Sharpens Best. We're going to go over here and uh, pick up some vegetables, some, some meat and stuff. We're going to have lunch and uh, we're going to cut up. We're going to use a knife set that I got sent and uh, we're going to cut up some vegetables and meat and make some lunch and just have some fun. So we'll take you along with us. vegetables are all whole and we're just gonna cut them up. <laughs> About got run over by a Corvette. I guess that'd be a good thing to be run over by. With one exception, they're really low to the ground. You'd really get ran over. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful day here in Denver. It's gorgeous. Uh, this is winter. I like it. Don't have to go to uh, Arizona if this is as bad as it gets. Zucchinis actually eat like apples. They're really good. They're actually kind of sweet. You don't even have to cook them. I like them. Okay. Let's go for these. Okay. Let's go and make lunch. Talk to you later. Hey, this is Brad, doing a little work in the kitchen. We got some knives uh, a couple days ago, and it's called the P600. It's a knife set from Chef's Foundry, and they're uh, ceramic. So anyway, it's just about time for lunch, so we're gonna cut, and we got our oranges here, and a couple of uh, tomatoes, zucchini squash that we're gonna uh, peel and cut up and, and uh, do some stir fry, some vegetables, and we got some meat here, so let's uh, just go ahead and, and get to it. Uh, it's pretty good company, I think, I guess. Uh, we got these knives here. <laughs> you know what? There it goes. Um, there's three in this set. There's like a three inch, and then there's about a six or seven inch, and then probably a, an eight inch. Um, I'm partial to uh, chef's knives. Um, you know, so we're just going to use the chef's knife right now on these vegetables, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. So, um, first, you know, if you, uh, yeah, it's Cut up the vegetables, I guess, first. Um, if you can take this and, and just go right on along like that. That's pretty smooth. That isn't too bad. I don't eat the uh, peeling on the zucchini squash. I love zucchini squash, but I don't like the peeling. It's kind of bitter. Um, it's probably good for you, but, you know, it's just not all that great to eat. Uh, same way with um, cucumbers. I love zuc uh cucumbers, but I do not like the peel on a cucumber. Never have, never will. Okay, so just get these P600 
peel down. You don't have to get it all off. All right, just like that. Head on along. We could cheat and use a potato peeler. One more. That's actually pretty smooth. That's pretty good. off the board. So we don't have to get all the peeling off of it. You know, zucchini squash, I don't know if you've ever got, you go to the store and you buy one and you peel it and just eat it with a little bit of salt. It's literally like an apple. They're actually sweet and uh, they're really good. I really like zucchini squash. Um, so, go to the store, buy you a zucchini, peel it, eat it, they're good for you. Got a garden, throw the peels out in the garden. Do not hit your finger because that knife is actually pretty sharp. cooking. I don't like being gone so much because uh, I do actually cook a lot. I cook stew. I cook a lot of uh, beans, pinto beans and ham and a lot of chicken soup, chicken stew, stuff like that. Uh, I like making uh, homemade foods from the store, not packaged and all that stuff. Um, to tomatoes. Uh, that goes right through there. fry these so I don't really care too much what they look like. And if you do the slicing thing, yeah it slices really good doesn't smash the tomato, doesn't cause any distortion or anything else. People say, well, why don't you slice the tomato? Yeah, I can slice the tomato. Yeah, we get us some meat here. strips. A little FYI on the meat. A friend of mine has two bobcats. They're about eight years old now. You go to the store and you buy them beef. 
put it in their bowl, they won't get within two feet of it. They literally turn their face and walk away. Now chicken and a few other things, some pork, they'll eat. All wild game, rabbits and everything like that, they'll gobble it right down. Those cats will not touch that beef from a store. My friends have learned what the cats won't eat, they're not going to eat. A little FYI. These are really good little steaks too because I've had them before. Yeah, no. Guess who uh, wants a bit of this? <laughs> I don't blame them. It's what they eat. They're carnivores. Got some butter or something, uh, butter preferably. Right. Now we're just going to fry this stuff up a little bit. Um, some meat uh, and uh, some vegetables. We're going to make some lunch. Haven't really done this before here. Oh, uh, yeah. Never margarine. You know that margarine's not food. food. Margarine will not mold. Would you put anything in your mouth that's so chemicalized that you can set it out on the counter for five years and it'll never mold? Butter is the best thing in the world for you. It's actually butyric acid. Uh, the only thing that has butyric acid is butter and your brain is full of butyric acid. So shouldn't you be eating things that's full of butyric acid? Um, that's, that's the way I look at it anyways. Uh, knife or spoons. Butter is actually really good for you. Meat products, dairy products are all good for you. You watch in the very near future, you're actually going to see a lot of advertising that says low fat diets will kill you. Just watch. Right. Um, so, a uh, little salt and pepper. We've got some vegetables here. Let's put those in after a little bit. Nice and hot. Pretty soon the uh, pan will get hot enough that the butter will melt off the fork and then we'll go to a rubber spatula because we don't want to scratch the pan. Right. Peanut butter is good for you, butter is good for you, and honey is good, good for you. So I mix up a slurry and uh, then when I want something sweet, something good to eat like that, I actually eat the honey and butter and peanut butter as a mix. I just eat it with a spoon. Um, it's really quite good. All right, we'll get this all rubbed around in the butter. It'll start making its own juice. The vegetables will cook down a little bit. A little bit of juice comes out of the meat, the tomatoes. Then we'll add the, uh, actually we'll add those pretty soon. Probably, normally, uh, cook these in a different pan for a little while because they'll cook at a different uh, speed, you know. So just like that, let these, whew, that's getting hot on the fingers. Do we have a large uh, dinner plate? Um, we do. Dinner plate. I do something I cheat just a little bit that right down there. The steam will come out around the sides. That way we don't have to have it up quite as hot. Mm -hmm. 
something like that. And then pretty soon we're going to need a rag uh, to touch the plate with because it's going to be too hot. pretty good deal. Uh, I've never actually owned ceramic knives. This is pretty sharp. Um, and then what I'm going to do probably is we'll try slicing a little bit of paper later and then um, who knows maybe I'll work on it with my sharpener. Um, I sharpen ceramic knives at the shows. Pocket knives and things like that. They're they're not totally dull. They're kind of dull. But I do know it takes a little while longer and you have to work on it a little bit harder. you got to press a little bit harder because ceramic is really close to the same hardness of tungsten carbide. Um, but I do know that after a short time, four or five minutes, uh, I can get them pretty sharp when they bring them to me and they say these knives won't cut anything. Work on them four or five minutes, slice the paper, and obviously I changed them if I can slice paper where before I couldn't at all. So let this cook a little bit and uh, get back with you here pretty soon and, and uh, show you what we cooked up and have something to eat. Ms. Brad, take care. Have a good day. It's a stir-fry sauce, so let's see, it's brand new, oh that smells good, so pour a little bit of that in there, something like that, do what every cook does, and you can hear it, it's starting to fry up nicely, got a good hot flame going, get the vegetables softened up. They're uh, probably raw. I don't think any of it was cooked. I know the stuff I put in there wasn't. All right, so let's just. <laughs> we gotta turn that down on some Hot. There you go. Good. Well, it looks to me like it's about ready to eat. They're getting kind of soft there. It smells really good. Uh, the uh, juice is boiled down a little bit, and that's kind of what I judge it by, too. I don't want it too dry. So anyway, you know what? Thanks a lot, Chef's Foundry P600 knife set, because that's what I use to cut it all up with. This is Brad. We're going to dish up some food and eat lunch now. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and get her done. That lid is hot. Oh my, that looks so good. All right, bon appetit.